It's time for learning with a fun Rosa Parks for Kids cartoon. Hey, history is full of courageous people who stood up to help us get to where we are today. Right now, I want to talk to you about one of those people named Rosa Parks. Have you ever heard of Rosa Parks? If not, that's okay, because I'm going to give you a few fun facts about Rosa Parks for kids and her life as a civil rights activist. Starting off, Rosa Parks was born Rosa Louise McCauley on February 4th, 1913 in Tuskegee, Alabama. So check this out. When Rosa was a kid, she may be just like you or a kid you know. At a young age, her parents decided they did not want to be together anymore. So Rosa and her mother moved to Pine Level, Alabama, where they stayed with her grandparents. Living with her grandparents allowed Rosa to see people do mean things to African-Americans, but it also showed her how to be strong. Like one day, her grandfather protected their farm from a group of men called the Ku Klux Klan. This group was known for killing African-Americans, and her grandfather stood out front protecting their home as the Ku Klux Klan marched by. When it came to school, things were not fair either. As a child, the schools Rosa went to were segregated. This meant that African-American students were not allowed to go to school with white students. Although Rosa enjoyed school, she left school in the 11th grade to help her sick mom. She later got her high school degree and became involved with the NAACP too as a youth leader. On December 1st, 1955, this is when Rosa would do something in history that would spark a change for how African Americans were treated in the United States of America. During this time in Montgomery, Alabama, the local buses were also segregated. Whites would be in the front of the bus and African Americans would come to the front of the bus to pay their bus fare, but then leave the bus and go through the back door to sit at the back of the bus with a sign marked coloreds. On that day, Rosa was told by the bus driver to move so that a white passenger who got on the bus could have her seat. After thinking about what the bus driver said, Rosa was tired of being treated unfairly and refused to move. After refusing to move, the bus driver had her arrested. She was later convicted for not following the laws. This made a lot of people mad and sparked the Montgomery boycott with another major person in African-American history, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The Montgomery boycott saw African-Americans coming together to refuse using the bus to get around town. The boycott lasted several months, and when many buses sat empty, the city had to do something. The boycott officially ended on December 20th, 1956, after the Supreme Court said they couldn't treat African-Americans unfairly. The life and legacy of Rosa Parks will be one that will be remembered in our hearts and minds as we go forward trying to create a world that does not judge others on the color of their skin. Rosa Parks died on October 24th, 2005 at the age of 92. But although she is gone, her resistance to unfair treatment will never be forgotten. And I hope you enjoyed this Rosa Parks biography for kids. <laughs>